All of a sudden, the career of a three-time Olympic gold medalist is over. The athlete is sanctioned with an eight-year suspension starting today. The bombshell announcement would seemingly provide some vindication for the Australian swimmer Mac Horton, who famously refused to share the podium with Sun Yang at last year's World Championships. I think regardless of the outcome, it was always going to be a statement to the world. Um, and my stance has always been about clean sport and uh, never about nation, nations or individuals. He says the fight against doping will go on as he trains with other members of the Australian swimming team for the Tokyo Olympics. It is really inspiring that Mac's been able to stand up for what he believes in and I guess have the courage to do so. There's very minimal people that would be willing to do that. Despite the ruling, Sun will keep all his medals, meaning Horton's silver at the World Championships won't be upgraded to gold. Sun maintained that his decision to smash a vial of his own blood in 2018 was reasonable because his testers didn't have the proper ID, but that didn't wash with the court. He has 30 days to appeal to the Swiss Federal Tribunal. He said in a statement, This is unfair. I firmly believe in my innocence. I will definitely appeal to let more people know the truth. And so a potentially embarrassing situation at the Tokyo Olympics has been avoided after a sometimes farcical 18 months. The court hearing, for example, was chaotic because no one could understand the translators. But there are some who say the system still isn't working, despite the decision. What I see is an anti-doping system that's actually broken. I see a CAS that can't even hold a hearing in two different languages. I see an international testing body that doesn't know how to carry out tests properly. And so I see a system that's actually failing athletes. I think sports themselves have come to the realisation that testing of itself is simply not working. Which means, despite everyone's dream of a clean Olympics, no one can ever be completely sure. David Mark, ABC News.